Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to show you the Launch 129E, which is right there, the 129E. And uh, we are in a Land Rover Discovery here. We've got a few warning lights. Land Rover Discovery owners uh, will know all too well about these warning lights, but this is a tool that's going to allow you to diagnose and reset these warning lights. And we're going to demonstrate that in this video. Now, before we get into it, this tool is subject to fake and clone models being on the market. Um, coming out of China, unfortunately, uh, they can damage your vehicle. You don't want to go down that route. So if you are interested in this tool and you want to make sure you get the genuine and official product, then make sure you use the link in the description below this video because that will take you to the official product where you'll get a genuine and official product from an official dealer okay so first of all what we'll do is we'll look at the check engine warning light and we'll do that by clicking on diagnose now this this little touch screen thing can be quite sensitive so what you've got to really do is sort of put your finger down and make sure you have solid presses and use your like the drag sort of screen with your finger so we'll click on to Land Rover click OK and we're going to manually select our vehicle so it is a Discovery it's a Discovery 3 diesel V6 it's going to try and read the VIN number it doesn't always read the VIN number successfully but it's not always imperative that you read the VIN number because you can just select the system in which you wish to diagnose in any case that's what we're going to do but let's see if we can read the VIN number well, it doesn't look like it's found it but that's not a problem so we'll click on system selection and we've got the three main systems here which are engine transmission and SRS so okay so it looks like it's not going to be able to read the ABS system which is a shame but let's see out of the way we'll click on the engine control module system first of all no and then it's giving us the fault code that is causing this check engine light uh, so we have put a new mass airflow sensor on MAF in and what we need to do now is just click on click out of this please exit current function first what does that mean back maybe there we go okay clear fault code clearing fault code has succeeded so you've saw the uh, the check engine light has turned off straight away there which is good and then we can do the same for the airbag system for this one we actually simulated this fault we unclipped a passenger connection underneath the passenger seat so we'll show you the fault code that we were getting which is that and then we can go back go clear fault memory again when I do this just keep an eye on the airbag light there we go, that's gone. Now the, 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 the one drawback with this tool is that it doesn't always cover all of the systems that you want it to. So this is supposed to be like a four system tool. You see it says ABS here. But unfortunately it just doesn't look like this tool covers the ABS system at all because we have no ABS on here. So I mean, if we click into the transmission control, you know, we can go back, we can click on clear all the faults in that system. It's telling us they're clear. So unfortunately, we're not going to be left with a system where we can get rid of them. Let's try a different one. Let's try just going into a different vehicle and see if the ABS system is, is on that option. So it is on this particular one. If we go into it, I think I clicked SRS there by accident. If we click in the ABS, no, it's not going to let us in. Oh, yes, let's try one more vehicle Like something of the same year so ish so we'll go maybe like a Freelander 2007 to 2010 diesel System selection ABS No, it's not gonna let us in so it's failed on one of the three potentials unfortunately but that being said it looks like it does cover ABS for other vehicles other man uh, sorry other Land Rover vehicles just not this particular Discovery 3 unfortunately so uh, but if you are interested as I say, it does cover the airbags it does cover the engine and it covers a lot of manufacturers as well so if you were interested then by all means click the link in the description below this video it will take you directly to this product from the official uh, dealer official stockist okay thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.